Hello everyone, welcome back to the game room. Flo Zipper here. It's that time again. It's time to add some games to the game collection. If you're a fan of Sega or the Sony PlayStation, you've definitely come to the right place today. If you're a fan of Nintendo, well, good luck finding someone on YouTube who's in a Nintendo, okay? <laughs> but thanks for watching everybody. Let's get right into it. First game, Sega Saturn. If you know anything about Sega Saturn, if you collect Sega Saturn, you can probably tell what this game is from the side. That is a stall. Platformer, Sega Saturn. Had this game on my want list for a long time. Finally just bit the bullet. Found it on eBay. Prices have dropped a little bit on Saturn games, it seems like, online. At least from my experience, I saw this drop about as low as I'd seen it. So, time to bite the bullet, get a stall. Now, I threw this in to capture gameplay footage and, you know, just check it out. And I'm, I'm not sure this game is as good as I hoped it was. It, it makes some very interesting combat mechanics and things of that sort. It does look beautiful. But I'll have to give it a full playthrough to, to see. But it didn't make a great first impression, I have to be honest. But it looks beautiful. The, you know, the art design, the graphics are just amazing. So... Either way, a stall is knocked off the list. Next game, another Saturn game, Area 51. The light gun shooter game, famously for the arcades. Now I had this game on the PlayStation 1 back in the day. It's actually pretty fun to play with the controller. I mean, it's obviously not the best way to play a light gun game, but I saw this at a game store, reasonably priced for a Saturn game. And I'm a sucker for Saturn games, so. We've got Area 51 on the Sega Saturn. Last Saturn game, another game store pickup, Doom, on the Sega Saturn. The funny thing is, when I went to buy this, the clerk at the game store said, I hope you're buying that for your collection and not to play. And he is 100% right. This game runs absolutely terribly on the Sega Saturn. The frame rate is, oh my gosh. I don't get motion sickness very easily on video games and five minutes of this game was enough for me to uh, I had to stop let's put it that way the frame rate is just absolutely horrendous but doom I mean I gotta get it well I don't have to I just I have a problem I guess all right next game is a game reacquired from childhood only Genesis game this month Sonic the Hedgehog 3 now I got this game back in the day at Kmart. I was there with my mom. Back then, you know, you didn't really know what games were coming out. It's not like it is today. So uh, as a complete shock on the shelf was Sonic the Hedgehog 3. I was a huge Sonic kid or, a, you know, Sonic fan as a kid. Love Sonic 1. I don't have as much experience with Sonic 2 as other people. Sonic 1's always been my game. But I was excited to see Sonic 3. I asked my mom, I was like, hey, can I get Sonic 3? Oh my God. She said yes. I remember this game being more expensive than other contemporary Genesis games. That might be a false memory, but it seemed like it was $10 more or something. So I was really surprised when she said, yeah, you can get it. Do I love Sonic 3? Uh, not necessarily. I think it's probably the weakest. If, if you think of 1, 2, 3 and Sonic CD as being like the main Sonic, Sonic games, I would say it's the worst, but... Had this game as a kid. Finally just broke down and got it. Next up we have the Lone Master System game. Rambo First Blood Part 2. I was a huge Rambo fan as a kid. I love playing ARMY and stuff like that. And this game seems very... Well, it looks very similar to Commando on the Nintendo. Which I love Commando. This game runs... It's just slower in general. And it's very, very difficult. At least starting out, I loaded this up to capture some footage, and boy, I was dying immediately. I'm sure it'll get easier with more more experience, but it didn't make a great first impression, I have to admit. But I've, I've seen that at game stores constantly, and I knew one day I was going to pick it up, and finally did. Now we move on to the PS1, everyone's favorite. Breath of Fire 3, JRPG, Capcom. Now I'm not, I wasn't a huge JRPG guy back in the day. 
been trying to slowly add some more to the collection. Hopefully I'll get some time to play through this. I really don't know much about it. The little I did see of it looked pretty good, so... Hopefully I get time in the future to start knocking out some of these JRPGs. Next PS1 game. Armored Core Project Phantasma. Finally got this one. I now have all three Armored Core games for the PS1. I had Armored Core as a kid, the original. Always thought that was a really fun game. Especially building your mech and customizing it. Now this game came with the strategy guide. <clears throat> Sandwich Islands Publishing. I don't know, just kind of a, I don't really collect strategy guides or anything, but nice little bonus for the game. So Armored Core series is complete. And I'm happy about that. Finally, the last PS1 game. Alundra PS1. Finally got this one. I've been meaning to pick this up forever. Hear good things about it and some bad things. But working designs. PS1 RPG. Now I gotta admit, I threw this in to capture gameplay footage. And normally I just do, you know, for 15 or 20 minutes. I played a whole hour of this game. This game seems really fun. Something I'm very interested in playing. Although I did run into some what, what I heard, some negative things about it. About how some of the... I mean, I literally got stuck an hour into the game with... It made no sense. I had to go across the bridge, but I had to go across a certain way. I was never, it was never explained anywhere in the game that ne that needed to happen. But thankfully, it also came with a, the strategy guide. Prima's Unauthorized Game Secrets. Alundra. <laughs> so my need to use this for that game uh, definitely has some very obtuse things about it. But super happy to get Alundra finally knock it off the collection. Now something a little different for me. A PS3 game. Infamous. This is the Infamous collection. So it has Infamous 1 and 2. When the PS3 got hacked or DDoS attacked or whatever happened when it was down for a week or two. Like in 2010, 11. I don't remember the exact time. But to kind of rectify that, they offered... I think three games on the PlayStation Network for free that you could go download as like a, so, oh, sorry we screwed up. Infamous was one of the games I picked. And I, I loved Infamous. But I didn't have a physical copy. I saw this at the game store and it had Infamous 2. I've never played Infamous 2, but I think I'll eventually give that game a go because I loved Infamous. Alright, now we've got some hardware here. Memory Card Pro, PlayStation 1, the last memory card you'll ever need. This thing's pretty amazing. Um, LCD display, connects to your Wi-Fi, uses an SD card to micro SD. To save all your games, you can back them up on your computer. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's 40 or 50 bucks, you know, for the last memory card you'll ever need, I, you know. I don't think that's necessarily a bad deal. So, Memory Card Pro. And finally, I did pick up a RetroTink 5X. Now, this came out a few years ago. Back, I, I was kind of taking a break from retro gaming. I already have an OSSC, which is an amazing device, but there are, you know, it, it doesn't handle interlace video too well. I also have the resolution change, you know, where it loses signal, which is corrected with the RetroTINK 5X. I do like the menu better on the RetroTINK, and um, yeah, I'm happy I got it. Did I need to get it? Was OSSC good enough? Yeah, but, you know, I love this hobby. <laughs> I've already got so much invested in all these upscaler and SCART cable things and I figured why not and I'm happy I got it. <clears throat> Alright guys, so that's everything for the last three or four months. You know, I pick up a number of games 
especially because I'm, I'm a set collector. You know, I collect a lot of garbage. But these are some of the highlights. Uh, coming up, we got a couple more PS1 reviews coming up. I might try to play through a stall here and branch out into some Saturn reviews. I do have a new camera coming within the next week or so. So I'm excited about that. And um, that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you next time.